We're presenting data that uh, we, we wanted to understand what the real world implications are right now of medications being used for myeloma. How does that translate into costs? Cost both for patients as well as for the system. And, and also how this correlates actually with survival. And we, this study I'm very proud of, it's a really neat study. We looked at 20,000 patients. And what we did is we combined claims from one of the insurance companies, one of the analytics companies for this insurances. And then we also combined this with survival data uh, from the Social Security Administration. So we found several things. First of all, the, the survival of myeloma keeps going up and up. And it's just fantastic to see how those curves continue to improve. Second, we, we realized that's because of the new medications that patients are getting. But much to our surprise, a very large fraction of patients still don't get the state of the art. Uh, we can't go into all the details with the data we have, but we know that that could be better. And sure enough, we saw that the costs have increased substantially over the, over the last several years. However, that's a, that's a composite because you know everyone thinks about costs and immediately the knee-jerk reaction is to think about the drugs themselves. It turns out drugs are not one of the biggest um, uh, factors driving the increase, although they're, they're, they're expensive, there's no question. But there's all the other things that are done as an outpatient, diagnostics, and some of the hospital stays that are also driving the cost. So it's a bit of a nuanced discussion, but we're presenting all of that in the poster. And I think what it is is objectifying data that we're all concerned about, but for which we have very little information. You know, one, one of the common things people talk about the price of drug A or, or price of drug B, but they're just talking about the sticker price. It's never considering the rebates that are obtained through some of the negotiations that occur, all of which are, of course, confidential, but we actually can see what was the actual dollar transaction now in the study. So I, I think it's going to be interesting, and we're hoping to have a very good reception for that.